Hey guys, Josh here from MobileTechVideos.com. Today with another ROM and a flash review. This time for Samsung Vibrant. My UI 1.7.22. All right, as mentioned, this is my UI 1.722, brought to you in 1080p. That's right, I finally upgraded my camera, and I hope you guys benefit from this, because <laughs> I'm not. I'm going to spend more time editing, as this will take longer to upload and edit, but it's no big deal. It's definitely worth it in the end, so you guys get a clearer picture, and you know what, I'll be, I'll be prouder of the work as well. So as I mentioned, my UI 1.7.22 for the Vibrant. Um, if you're not familiar with my UI, it's about the closest thing um, to a custom solution of an operating system uh, as CyanogenMon 7 is. Uh, it's more than just something that you would load from, you know, on top of a shell of uh, files and create your own ROM. This is actually a really, truly custom experience. It's built on Android 2.3.4, and uh, if we go to the About Phone settings, we can see that it's My UI, and it's the T959 version, 2.3.4, and we can see a little more info there. And the build number, 1.7.22, and this one is running the KA7 modem. So, My UI is a very interesting, very unique operating system, um, and it really is something that you guys should take a look at if you're looking for something next level custom. Uh, I'm going to back out just a hair here, I think I may be a little too far in. And uh, you can see here um, that there's really no app drawer, and that's because all the apps kind of just come up on the page. So if I wanted to go to market and say I wanted to add the PayPal app, I accept it and I download it, it's going to download that app, and basically it's going to appear on that page uh, next to me. So it's installing PayPal app, and in a moment we'll be done installing, and I'll show you guys that it just pops up on the page. So successfully installed, we can press clear, and uh, there it is, PayPal, right next to Tank Hero. By the way, if you didn't see the Tank Hero video, check it out right there. Very cool game. I'm sure you guys have seen it. If you haven't, you've got to see it. Great video, great game. So um, check that out as well. But uh, yeah, so the apps just appear on the page as you see right there. So it's something a little different to not have an application drawer. Technically, I guess you can always add your own launcher, but this one's actually pretty neat. Um, obviously, it's got a nice transitioning effect there. Uh, that's called Rotate, I believe. And you can uh, change that out by going into your launcher settings and these are very minimalistic just a few things to pick from I turned on high-res graphics as they're turned off by default and you can pick a lot of different options such as a 3d cube that was called cascading when we were on and then there's the cube with the um, rotating effect there it runs them very smoothly as well now, being so similar to CyanogenMod 7 in terms of installing this and using it, you can actually use uh, CyanogenMod 7 kernels for the most part with my UI and they work just fine. Uh, to install this particular ROM, you can follow my latest CyanogenMod 7 video and it should get you there as it got me there just fine. I uh, simply flashed the stock, installed Clockwork Mod Recovery, the green uh, one. I installed uh, the ROM itself, it rebooted into Orange Clockwork, Clockwork Mod Recovery, and geez, can't talk. And uh, from there, I re just finished installing the ROM and it loaded up just fine, no problems at all. Um, adding a widget presents you with a unique uh, set of screens, about like this, kind of looks similar to TouchWiz uh, 4, to be honest, uh, but you can add a widget very simply here. Let's say I didn't want the analog clock anymore, simply hold down and swipe and figure out which widget I'd like to put there. So if I wanted the 4x2, I would go with the digital clock there. Sorry about that, you just hold it and place it in to your screen. You can also maneuver things from screen to screen very easily. And I apologize if my camera is going in and out of focus. This thing is new to me, I'm not used to it. But you can also rotate to a different screen as well. So I need to pay my car insurance for uh, the 27th. So we can see things like that as well. Just press home and you can go back home. Uh, in addition to all this, uh, the applications themselves are very unique and very custom, such as the MyUI Music app, which is very popular and has found its way into lots of other uh, custom development. A lot of people will put this 
because it's such a cool application for music, they'll actually put this into their own ROMs as well. So you'll see my UI apps being listed as cool options that developers have been putting in their ROMs. Um, there's also MyUI Stats, which is similar to CyanogenMod 7 Stats, and you can enable reporting to send these guys bug reports for a smoother experience uh, in the future. Sound recorders, custom, a lot of things are custom, such as the sound recorder, the calendar, and um, all that stuff. The calendar has a somewhat HTC Sense type of look and feel to it, and um, you know everything else is, is, like I said, custom is the word to use here. Uh, one thing that's kind of cool is the File Explorer. It uh, has a browse option option in which it kind of caches and uh, organizes uh, the files that it has. So you can see here I've got zip file button, a doc button, and a miss button that are populated, as well as a favorites button for things that I visit most often. Um, and so if I want to click miss, it's going to put all these things that it doesn't really know how to classify in one spot. And then zips, you can see all the zips that I have on there. So you can see malice and my UI. I'm also going to be doing revamped um, ROM review as well, which is a rendition of my UI with a fancy shell and uh, you guys can check that out as well. Now these guys have a great website, it's myui.us, that's it, there's no .com, just myui.us, and uh, you can check them out, they have a forum, full change log, and pretty much a full site uh, full of downloads, and this is offered on a ton of different devices, much like CyanogenMod 7. Um, the contacts is also kind of got its own look and feel, everything has has its own look and feel. It really does look like a different operating system. You almost think this isn't Android. And that's really cool because, you know, a lot of people look for something more than just regular Android. So um, this is a great way to experience that and see that. Theme Manager, one last thing I wanted to show you guys. Very cool, I've downloaded a few themes just to show you. This is Theme Manager uh, at the root level. You can see I've downloaded a few themes other than default. To do that, you can go to Online Theme and it'll actually load up all these different themes that are available in the online marketplace for this. These are all free as far as that I've seen. and. Uh, uh, you can also go to latest as well. Those are just the featured ones. I downloaded some of the featured ones. There is a ton to pick from. And um, I'll show you how easy it is to theme this. So say I wanted to switch from uh, the default to mystical or mystic oval. I simply do this and then I would apply it. Um, it's really that easy. So I switched to 3D view there and I wanted uh, the other one. So let me go back to it. That's kind of clumsy. Uh, so anyways, you can see the different types of uh, screens to see what this theme's gonna look like. Decide if you want it. Here's something that you can do. It's, I keep doing that. But here's something that you can, if you go too far over, you go to the next theme. Here's something you can do to even really customize the phone even more. If you go down, you can actually pick and select which components of the theme you want. So you like the lock screen but hate the launcher? Switch just the lock screen. Uncheck the launcher. It's that simple. Make your options. Say apply. It'll apply the theme. And then boom. Now we've got an entirely different look and feel to our phone and in addition to that we have all new icons as well so this is a really really cool way to add yet another custom touch to your to your phone so um, I'm not sure if front-facing cameras are supported on this someone chime in and put that in the comments below and I'll make an annotation for this but uh, you can get this in the link in the description below at the XDA developers thread check us out mobiletechvideos.com be sure to follow us on Twitter like us on Facebook and above all, subscribe here on YouTube. We put out new content all the time, and I'm trying to get back to making some videos for the Vibrant. So I appreciate you guys for joining me. Be sure to bookmark us, mobiletechvideos.com. Subscribe for the latest content, and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching.